Hi, I'm Dr. Elliot Adam from ElliotOracle.com. I'm also the author of Fearless Tarot, How to Give a Positive Reading in Any Situation, which is due out from Llewellyn Books this October, and it's already available for pre-order on Amazon, so check it out if you like my approach to tarot. Uh, today, it's time for our Oracle Reveal. So earlier today on Instagram, I placed up a photo of three different animals, and the animals were the mouse, the porcupine, and the armadillo. And I asked you to use your intuition and ask yourself which animal was getting stuck in your head because there's probably a message for you. So let's begin with the mouse people. If you pick mouse, uh, this is a card that says tend to the small things. But for me, mouse is always about paying attention to the details, looking at things you know really closely. And mouse teaches you that it doesn't matter how good you are at whatever it is that you do, you can always get better by studying it more um, in depth and, and just getting more into it. Um, so Mouse is telling you to pay attention to the details at this time. Uh, the first card for Mouse is where it's best to place their focus this week, and it's actually the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is the messenger of love. You can see that he's got the winged helmet and sandals or, or boots of Hermes or Mercury, the messenger god. And whenever the Knight of Cups is coming up, he's telling you to follow your heart, to go toward what it is that you love. Sometimes the Knight of Cups is also a good communicator about feelings. So it could be a time to talk about something or to just unload something that might have been carried in your own heart or needs to be expressed to somebody else. The Knight of Cups usually has a good connotation to it though, however, so it could just be as simple as acknowledging someone you're caring about and reminding them of how much they mean to you. And it doesn't always have to be a romantic partner. It could just be somebody that needs to feel reinforced or bolstered uh, by some sort of emotional support that you can provide at this time. For advice from the inner wisdom for the mouse people, we also got the Justice card. Justice is all about truth, and I find it so interesting that we got the Knight of Cups who's talking about feelings, and then it's right next to the Justice card, which is truth. And what I really feel is that something needs to be spoken right now for the mouse people that is their truth. And it's time to not maybe hide your feelings at this time, but to express them more fully. And again, this could be just sharing with somebody what you really want them to understand at this time. The important thing about the Knight of Cups is that he delivers his messages with love. And the important thing about the justice figure is she delivers her messages dispassionately. She looks at the facts and she doesn't really, uh, you know, if she does make a judgment, she's not, you know, yelling at you. She's not like the Judge Judy archetype. So instead, it's going to be a time where you're really dispassionately discussing what's going on for you emotionally. And justice can also indicate seeing the other person's point of view. So for mouse people, it looks like some relationship things uh, or things that need some house cleaning need to come out into the open. But that's going to be the most uh, beneficial to talk about at this time. And then finally, the mythic archetype that's going to be helping, oh my god, there she is again, uh, Pandora, who has been with us every week if you've been watching my oracle reveals. Uh, Pandora is the uh, one who opens up the jar and all the plagues of mankind come out. Uh, so it's appropriate that we see her every week because we're going through this plague and everything. Uh, but what Pandora does is snaps the jar shut again before the last content of the jar escapes, and that's hope. And so when Pandora comes up, she's telling you not to lose hope, maybe to hold on to hope, uh, and also to uh, keep some sort of perspective during this time. So my goodness, uh, we see her every week. All right, next we're going to go into the porcupine. Uh, it says time for the beginner mind. And so for porcupine, this could just be a time of innocence and opening yourself up to new experiences or new things. And porcupine uh, is confident in itself because it's got those quills to protect itself, so it can afford to be playful. So this could indicate uh, to take advantage of the safe spaces that you've created for yourself and to play in them a little bit more at this time. Uh, where it's best to place your focus for Porcupine is that things are at a standstill with that Knight of Pentacles. He's the only Knight on the horse that isn't moving forward. So this could be a period where things are stopping and it's important to just look around you and just be present. Sometimes the Knight of Pentacles teaches us that we have to be patient in the moment. And you can see those brown fields behind him which are saying that his goals are growing but they're not showing signs of that growth right now. So for this time, uh, for the porcupine people, you might have put out your major intentions and, and planted the seeds of your major goals, but they're not really showing that they're bearing fruit at this time. It doesn't mean that you have to give up hope. It might just indicate that you have to switch your attention to something else, maybe being playful, for example. 
Uh, the advice from your inner wisdom for Porcupine is the Ten of Swords. And whenever we see the Ten of Swords, it's indicating that there's something that was either being avoided or not confronted that is making you feel somehow victimized. Uh, the Ten of Swords indicates fears. Uh, those swords are actually symbols for things that are challenging in your mind. And you can see they got the guy in the back because he was not facing them. He wasn't looking at the fear. He's like, la, 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 nothing's happening. I don't have any fear. It might be stalking me in the night, but I'm just going to keep a step ahead of it. And what Ten of Swords tells you is that it's time to stop running from the fear or running from that amorphous thing that's making you anxious and instead turn around and shine a light on it. Even on this card, you can see that the clouds are breaking up and sunlight is starting to enter the scene. So this could be shining a light on something that's been stalking you from the shadows. And it changes your posture when you're running from something or avoiding something uh, from being victimized by it, like the man on the card, to instead feeling victorious or like you're back in charge of your life. So Porcupine, if it feels like things are not moving forward and it feels like you're just trying to keep yourself in a state of denial uh, by not confronting something or just trying to stay a step ahead of it, uh, this Ten of Swords is saying you're going to do yourself a really great favor if you turn around and if you reclaim your power at this time. And then finally, we've got the mythic archetype that will help Porcupine through this. And we got Rhea, and she's the uh, archetype of protection. Rhea is the mother of the uh, ancient Olympian gods. She's a titan. And she had to give all her children away uh, to her husband, who was threatened by his children. He was afraid they were going to overthrow him, and he ended up swallowing them. And she couldn't stand seeing this anymore, so she actually hid her last child, Zeus, and he uh, grows up in, in secret and then overthrows his father and uh, causes his father to empty the contents of his stomach and freeze his brothers and sisters. Whenever we see Rhea, she's telling you that you're protected. She's telling you that you're safe and that even, there, even though there might be something that is making you anxious or something that does feel like it's at a standstill, you're going to be safe. You're going to be okay. Sometimes Rhea just comes up as a gentle presence that's telling you from your inner wisdom that everything's all right. And uh, also we see that swan on her card, which is a symbol of transformation. So it might just be time to go with the flow and surrender to things instead of fighting them so much at this time. And then finally, we've got the armadillo spirit, and it says set healthy boundaries. And that is exactly what armadillo is all about. It's placing up boundaries so that you're caring for yourself in such a way that your mental state is okay, so that you can then turn around and give to other people. Uh, sometimes if you're angry or frustrated or you're mad at somebody else, it's often because you're not establishing proper boundaries. And so armadillo is just telling you to put those in place. Uh, the best place for them to put their focus is the King of Swords, another kind of boundary card. The King of Swords is really tough. He really establishes himself uh, and he really kind of uh, stays stable uh, on his throne there by staying dispassionate and logical. Uh, he's also kind of like a symbol for the law. And this might be a time where you're really making laws in your own life that make sense to you. Laws are put into place usually to protect people. And in this case, it might be a time to establish boundaries and establish a new code of laws for your life uh, so that you're feeling that you are being protected and that you are really getting the best shot that you can. Uh, advice from your inner wisdom is the Wheel of Fortune, uh, which is saying that right now it's kind of an up and down time emotionally. And like the figures on the edge of the wheel, some are rising and some are falling. So this could be a time where it's so important to stay centered and to find your center at this time so that all this chaos can go on around you and you'll be unaffected by it. The Wheel of Fortune is always a nice change card too. So it could just indicate something lucky is on the way or something beneficial. Uh, but it's important to maintain a sense of being centered at this time. And then the mythic archetype that is going to help the Armadillo people is Helen of Troy, uh, the archetype of beauty. And Helen of Troy is all about uh, increasing your energy and your vitality and your happiness by surrounding yourself with beautiful things or improving yourself, doing something to make yourself feel beautiful at this time. This could be starting to exercise again or give yourself some self-care or even just redecorate. But whenever we see Helen, she's telling you that your stress levels are going to go down if you are feeling like you're connecting to beauty. So that's this week's Oracle. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you can always get a reading with me at ElliotOracle.com. Otherwise, I hope you all stay safe and uh, healthy during Pandora's epidemic. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye.